see the size of some of these sticks. Below the nest, a big dead tree fell down and took down a few others beside it, right beside the nest. This is Judy taking a picture of the helmet cam. <laughs> and laughing. <laughs> and laughing. No, these big branches up here, where there's that one goes out there, this one goes up here, um, up in those ones there. The entry to building 31, you can see the uh, train depot building and we've got our simple green bottle here with a uh, solution in it to spray our boots so that we don't uh, spread any diseases to the plants and we've got the rail line leading up to building 31 so this will take a little bit of a walk but we may speed it up in the video. It's still quite wet underfoot from all the previous rain.
You can see on the right here how dense the bush is. Uh, the eagle's favourite, uh, one of the favourite roosts in the ironbark tree is uh, about 30 metres uh, just in there. Impossible to see from here and very difficult to get through the scrub. Don't know if you can see up here higher that there's a uh, dead tree up there. That would be the sort of tree where the eagles collect the sticks from. They'd fly in the talons out, grip hold of the branch, break it off and fly it back to the nest. That tree is around about uh, 75 to 100 metres from the nest. You can see right up ahead the line straightens out and the undergrowth has really grown in. Just coming up to the uh, cutting here where they've got a uh, earth bridge, a land bridge over the top and this is leading into the cutting where the uh, building 31 is. So we come into the little train station for building 31. And you notice that uh, it's possibly been renumbered at some stage where the telephone says number 32. Unfortunately, we don't have a key to look inside, but there's nothing inside. It's just vacant. And you can see the big earth walls all the way around that uh, keep the any explosion that may have happened uh, from going sideways, the explosion would go straight up. Just walking around to the back of the building, it's not a very big building, but it's contained completely by earthen walls. Now we come across the power cables that we've just, uh, just run in, and here's the switchboard where our power is coming from, our new switchboard, thank you to Sydney Olympic Park, and there it is, very intricate. We have our transformer there, low voltage transformer leading back through the cables and back through to the forest back below the nest. So we're going to head back into the uh, woodland. We've got a set of steps leading up to the land bridge over the rail line. and the woodlands. There's an eagle. I can see one of them right now. It'll be very difficult on the GoPro camera, but it's straight through there. You'll see a little white dot right through. She's only probably 30 metres less than that, 25 metres away. Looks like dad, actually. Difficult to tell, but could be. I heard, heard them calling earlier from over there. I've just noticed that they're there, probably been watching me run the cables in. As you'll see, this is not a walk in the local park. It's uh, definitely a bush bash. Here we are at the business end. The nest is 
just up there, about 20 odd metres away.